G'day everyone. How many of you have discovered just how fantastic and how addictive surface lure fishing is for Murray Cod? Well, now in this video, I'm gonna give you a red hot tip to help increase your hookup rate. You've probably discovered, if you've been out a few times, that hookup rates with surface lures are much lower than what they are with subsurface lures, such as hard body lures and spinner baits. There is a reason for that. Here is a Murray Cod surface lure. That's a Coolabung Cod Clacker. Now let's say that's swimming across the surface there. That's plop, 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 plop. That's going along. A cod might be sitting underneath watching it, but they don't just come up and grab it and then just sit like that. They come up, they start turning, they grab it on their way down. It all happens so quick because the cod, the Murray Cod, even the trout cod, they don't want to be near the surface where birds and other predators can get them. They are cowards. They want to come out from under their log, or when it's dark, just come up from somewhere down a bit deeper, grab the surface lure off the top and take that back down. So what they do, plop, 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 fish comes up, whack! It grabs it, it pulls it down, and when it does it, its tail comes over and whacks the surface of the water, creating that large buffing sound. Now, a lot of the time, the cod thinks it's stunning the lure. It thinks it's a little bird or a little mouse or something. You could think it's a number of different things. But quite often, the cod will think it's stunning that, and then it will come back and hit it a second time if it hasn't got it in its mouth. So if you're going along, plop, 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 fish buffs your lure. We call it a buff when we're talking surface fishing, and doesn't hook up. If you leave the lure on the surface, it may very well and often does come back and buff it again. Sometimes you might have to twitch it a little bit to get some rings to emit from the edges of it, just to, so the fish can see it, and then it will come back and hit it again. Usually it doesn't hook up on the first cast, but sometimes it does. In fact, in this bend that I'm standing at right now, I caught a 60 centimetre cod on the first buff last week with this very lure. Got him. Yes, it was a good fish too. Seems like a good fish. He's a fair way out. I've got my headlamp on, folks, because this is exciting. Yeah, not as big as I first thought. Oh yeah, he's a lovely fish. Very nice fish. I'm come down here to where I can uh, get him out of the water. He'd be a 60 centimetre fish, this one. I think I've forgotten my tape measure, so what I'm going to do is lay it next to Lay it next to my uh, fishing rod, see which eye it's closest to, and then when I get home, I'll measure it. He's at least 60 centimetres long. You little ripper, caught on the Coolabung Cod Clacker. It's actually my first fish on the Cod Clacker, and I'm very, very impressed with the action. Go you, good thing. <laughs> There's a system that we use when we're surface fishing called the dead hands technique. Now, I'm just being careful here to hook this hook through the wire, not the actual runner of my rod. I'm gonna go back a little bit here. As bait fishermen, and even using hard body lures and minnows and stuff over the years, when you're fishing, you get a strike, or if you get a bite on your bait, what's the first thing you do? Yes, you lift your rod tip up and you set the hook. You pull the hook into the fish's mouth, the fish is hooked. We call that setting the hook. So if you're using a stump jumper, a fish hits your lure, you lift your rod tip up and put tension on the line. You're using a spinnerbait, fish hits your spinnerbait on the drop or when it's moving. You lift your rod tip up and you put tension on the line. With surface fishing, because the hookup rate is low, if you're retrieving your surface lure across the water, you know, plop, 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 you get a boof. If you lift your rod tip up and that fish hasn't hooked up, you will pull the lure well away from the fish. And if a fish looks back up to see the stunned animal that it's just stunned and it's not there anymore, it'll swim away and you may never see it again. And another hazard that it creates is that you, because there's no tension on the lure, because it's not under the water, when you pull it, you can have that lure go straight into your eye or whiz straight past your ear. So what we do is we employ the dead hands technique. And this takes a lot of practice, especially for those who haven't caught very many Murray Cod and are very, very excited about their first buff. 
So you're reeling your lure in, you're miles away, you're thinking about your kids, you're thinking about your holidays that are coming up, thinking about your mortgage or your sick grandmother or something. Plop, 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 boof! Your lure just gets engulfed in a huge big swirl of water and a big loud splash. You're expected to just pause. Don't lift, just pause. That's called the dead hands. Now, if that fish has hooked up on the first boof, if you're lucky enough for that to happen, it will pull. Within a split second, your line will pull tight as that fish tries swimming away with your lure. You've got him. You've got him on the first boof. Exactly the same as what I did in this hole last week with that 60 centimetre cod. Now, if he doesn't hook up and the line doesn't pull tight, because you've used the dead hands technique and just gone dead, the lure will still be there above the fish. And within a split second, he can come back and hit it again. Or it could take three or four seconds, maybe five or six seconds. And if it doesn't happen, then you really slowly start to retrieve it again and jiggle it around a little bit. If you're lucky, boof, you might come back and have a second go or a third go. I've had him hit my lure up to nine times in one cast. Nine times in the one retrieve I've been boof without actually catching the fish. But on that first boof, the most important thing is to employ the dead hands technique. Do not lift. Don't set the hook. After years of bait fishing and, and fishing with hard body lures, it takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of mental practice to not get too excited and impatient. Reel it in, boof, just, just pause. You just pause, you do not lift. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to put a link to one of my best mate, Brett Corker's YouTube channel, or one of his videos in particular, and you're going to see that up in the corner of the screen up here. And you watch what Brett does. Brett doesn't actually catch the fish in the video, but he gets boofed three times from what looks like a quite decent fish just going by the splash. And at no point in time does Brett lift his rod tip up. He just pauses. He employs the... Well, Brett actually uses the dead hand system better than anybody else that I know. So in this video you'll see, but he still doesn't catch the fish. But that's fishing. Now, sometimes it doesn't matter what system you're using, what techniques, what lures, what bait. Sometimes you just won't hook the fish. And sometimes you'll get them on the first go. So remember, folks, if you're new to the surface fishing for Murray Cod, the dead hand system or the dead hands technique is absolutely imperative to increase your hookup rate and to protect your eyes, pretty much. When a fish hits your lure, don't lift your rod tip up and set the hook like you do when you're bait fishing. Let the fish pull the line tight and then... Once you feel the weight of the fish, then you can lift your rod up. Once you know he's got it, you lift your rod tip up. If he hasn't got it, if, you have, if you've used the dead hands technique and the lure's still sitting out there, hang on tight because he may very well come back. And I'll put a link up here to this awesome video of Brett's. It's not an action-filled video because he didn't actually land the fish, but you'll get to see three best buffs and you'll see what Murray cod fishing is about. And also you'll see Brett, who has mastered the art of the dead hands technique, and while you're there, give Brett a subscribe. Cod Gobbler 01 his YouTube channel is. He doesn't upload a lot of stuff. He doesn't talk to the camera a lot like I do. But you can get a lot of useful tips and tricks off Brett just by watching how he does it.